In South Sudan culture, our homes are more than physical spaces. They are living legends. Imagine under those trees where our grandparents gathered, shared stories egged with wrinkles. Honoring elders is considered of a high virtue. Their voices carry echoes of resilience. We learn from their struggles, celebrate their triumphs, and cherish their presence. Our households often include extended families, creating a rich tapestry of wisdom and love. However, there is one thing that we do not talk about, and it's eating us up. It is weighing us down, and it is killing our male counterparts. And that is balancing family support and independence. Hi, my name is Stella Luca. I am so passionate about family, relationship dynamics, and life lessons. In today's world, communion living has both benefits and challenges, which we will explore together and see how we can strike a balance. Overwhelming financial burden. This is not a secret. We all know what is happening currently in South Sudan, in our homes, how things are expensive, how dollar rate has affected our livelihood, and all that kind of thing. It is true that family is very important. I am part of a family, and without my family, I wouldn't be who I am today. Let's not forget, supporting each other financially is very vital. However, relying heavily on each other can strain resources. Let's find a balance. Those who are capable, those who have finished school, those who have the ability to do something to fend for themselves, please do. Our relative might not tell us. Brothers relying completely with the entire family on those ones who are capable. Parents who do not think for themselves that they are overweighing others, sending all their children to another household to take care of, is overweighing people. It is good that we support each other. If I was not supported, I wouldn't be where I am. However, let's know when it is enough. When you see a brother of yours supporting more than 10, 15, 12, and you are capable, please, do him a favor. Take your responsibility back. Do not overweigh each other. Do not over rely on others because you are breaking them. If you look at our men today, they die early. There is high rate of heart attack, high blood pressure, diabetes. All that is coming because people are overburdened and they are not saying it because we value relationship. In the process, we are dying. It is killing us. Let's, let me put this scenario. It's just like everybody is drowning and you decide to grab your brother to die with your brother or your sister. As a result, lack of balance between family support and independence, men are dying. So let's ask ourselves, how many men have you heard about in May or in the past three months that have died already? And if you look at the reasons, tell me that family support is not one of them. Stress, lack of privacy, and limited opportunities can impact health. Let us learn to prioritize our well-being. Child abuse is another thing. We do not talk about this thing as, a, as South Sudanese, but we are aware that so many issues are rising around Abuse. Abuse is not only maybe rape or sexual molestation. It can be physical abuse. You find that parents are already overwhelmed, so they do not have the patience. Children are suffering innocently in between big families. There will always be child abuse issues in a crowded family. Lack of peace. How many homes are having issues? Because people are overwhelmed in the house. Diverse opinions can lead to conflicts, obviously. In such a scenario, how can harmony be sustained? That's a question all of us should answer. Raising indisciplined children. In crowded households, individual attention becomes impossible. It is difficult to pay attention to individual child or children 
to discipline them because there are so many people, different background, different mindsets. And even because of that crowd, parents do not have time to sit down and focus on who is doing what. Children are becoming a discipline in between the family members. Why? Because there is a lot of crowd and you cannot see certain things. Another thing is a low living standard. Stretching resources affect nutrition, education, and the overall will be. We need to learn how to plan wisely. We need to learn to say no. We need to learn to say enough. And also, family members who need support need to learn to see, to observe for themselves that this person is overwhelmed. Mental health issues is also another problem. Constant resolving of family matters takes a toll on well-being of spouse. You find that you don't even have time for each other. You don't have quality time for each other because you are always on the run trying to make ends meet and you do not have time. We need to learn. We need to learn to say it is enough. Broken family. It becomes so difficult for the household heads to have peace and you find that if people, maybe uh, a man start undermining what the wife is saying or doing, start siding with the relatives, and the relatives start hating the wife, you find such kind of things bring differences between a husband and wife, and eventually they break up. Why? Because there are many people in the house, resources are not enough, and it is difficult to even have privacy, and as a result, the two will end up breaking and the family is broken. It's difficult to fix it. Chaos and misunderstanding will always fracture the bonds that two couples have. Therefore, communication and empathy is very virtual at this point. As we navigate communal living, let us own up to our responsibilities while supporting one another so that together we can build strong families and resilient communities. I am Stella Luca. Do not forget to hit on the subscribe button, like, share, and let me know your comments and what your thoughts are. Until then, bye.